Hello everyone, boys and girls, dudes and dudettes, ninja turtles and chest busting aliens, welcome to my new knife review. Today we are reviewing a CJRB Craig knife. And before we begin, I mean look at this, oh yeah, that's right, dance, little knife dance, sorry, sorry, yes. So before we begin, I'd like to thank Big Bear Gear for giving me this knife to play with. You should really check out his channel, I'll put a link below. Well, both because he's kind of an awesome dude and because he has great gear reviews and tons and tons of knowledge. So like, check him out and check this knife out. Huh? You like? You like what you see? Yeah, you're a dirty boy, aren't you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's get back to the review. Okay, let's start. Yeah, so check out this bad boy, eh? Look at its width and its length. I swear I just want to take pictures of it and send it to strangers on Tinder. <sighs> Bloody glorious, that's what it is. But let's talk business then, shall we? Look, this is a big heavy flipper. It weighs 154 grams. It has a awesome D2 steel. I love that steel. I mean, sure, it rusts, but it holds an edge like, well, very, very well, better than many others. And actually comes close to some super steels. It has heavy duty metal liners. It has this finger chill, which confuses the heck out of me because, I mean, finger chills are made for delicate work and I mean I don't know I've never went out and began to carve a spoon with my folding pocket cleaver I don't know I think this finger chill is out of place I'd say the blade itself is three millimeter wide obviously cleaver side and it has a G10 handle not too bad now the flipping action, I mean, it's okay for a knife of its size, nothing to really write home about, you know, but it flips, it flips well enough and it will get your knife from being closed to open, good enough for me. Now is the blade sharp? Let's see. And for that, I'm bringing my companion. That's right, my left foot. Okay, so. Yep, it's shaving sharp and my foot is that much sexier for it. And that is, I mean, you've seen it shave and that's actually after I've worked with the knife outdoors for quite a bit. D2 has some serious edge retention, that's for sure. So, yeah, this knife, knife at least, comes shaving sharp and I mean, you can't ask for more than that in a production knife not in my opinion at least so edge most excellent let me tell you if my wife ever wants me silky smooth and smelling of strawberries down there I'm putting some gem on this knife and I'm going to town with it on my nether regions like I'm invading France all over again oh yeah Alrighty then, so now that we know it can shave your private Ryan, but for such enough, this is just not enough. Yep, you don't need a big knife, you know, for grooming, and if you do, well, much respect to you for that, you were born blessed. But what us mere mortal need cleaver for is some real and proper heavy duty work, chopping, cleaving, batoning. Fighting off ninjas, you know, 
because they're annoying. That kind of stuff. I mean, sure, we can use smaller knife for the easier tasks, but I mean, you ever tried to chop with the Victorinox? I have. It did not end well for me. So, let's do some chopping. Oh yeah. You see, I have here this stick, which I plan to use as my future bushcraft sex toy. But there is a problem. You see these protruding knots right here? Yeah. They really make it hard to um, uh, handle with care, if you know what I mean. Yes, that. So let's remove them. Okay, so I finished chopping and I have uh, some feedback. First of all, the blade is beautiful after that work, not a mark on it, still sharp, seriously that blade did a hell of a job. So I like it very much. My biggest problem is with that handle. Look at this. You see how it is much thicker here than it is back here? Yeah. That makes the grip on it very forward heavy and you don't have much grip back here not when you chop with it that makes me feel a little unsafe wielding the knife because it always felt as if it just wants to fly out of my hand as i chop with it this forward momentum and i use it i mean there's just not enough grip and friction back here or any sort of you know any something, any, anything that will stop this knife from going and flying out of it. That is a bad design in my opinion, especially for a folder or any knife that will be using uh, some, will be expected to do heavy work. Yeah, so not good, not good. At the very, very least, you should at least add a lanyard and wrap it around your little pinky or something like that because knives being used as an accidental projectile towards your cam bodies just may lead to somebody using your sleeping bag as a urinal it happened before it may happen again so add that lanyard so so far the blade performed great it's super sharp it's super heavy it's super awesome I like it I love it but that handle, that handle ruins it for me. For safety reasons, a pinky lanyard is a must. Kind of a shame because, I mean, this could have the potential to be a super awesome folding cleaver. But you know, like my daddy always told me, potential and 12 bucks can get you one month of premium adult content and not more. Stop it! Stop it, teddy bear! Get off the knife! Get off the knife! I'm so sorry you had to see this. That bear is like an animal sometimes. I just can't control him. But you know, just because the knife had been violated like this does not mean that we will stop this test. Because, well, if any of you will get one of these knives, sooner or later I am pretty sure that you will do something that will test its locking mechanism. And that is the next thing we will be talking about. Now look, this knife has a liner lock, which is okay, but out of all the locking mechanisms available today, yeah, it's considered on the, well, let's just say that it's the Aquaman of the locking mechanisms. Sure, I mean, it's on the team, officially. But everyone thinks that it's lame and make fun of it be behind its back. And this is a big knife. I mean, big heavy knife. You're going to want to abuse it just a little bit. So, let's do that. Alrighty then, let the batoning begin. What the hell? Yeah, just as my daddy said, 
when he caught me watching that tentacle hentai, honey, I think we have a problem. Man oh man, what can I tell you? This knife is not safe for you to use. The blade is great, it's sharp, it's sturdy, it has a great shape, despite that finger churl which I do not like very much. But still, I mean, the blade itself is its good, much respect for that. But that handle is badly designed and that locking mechanism is weaker than a vegan propaganda. All in all, I can probably tell you, sorry, that this knife's best feature is its price. It is really not expensive and you do get a great blade with it. It's just a shame that the rest of its parts, I mean, they're not there. They're not ready, they're not good. And I really wanted to love this knife, I really did. In fact, this is the first cleaver I ever used and I love cleavers. But, no, 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 don't, don't get this. If you're looking to spend your hard-earned money at something, well, recommend you give it this one a hard pass. Save them, save them shekels for something safe and useful, like a strip club or booze. So that's my review, hope you guys liked it. And if you want me to review other knives or gear or whatever, well, have your people talk to my people.